Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on basic geometry. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it, and as I said, the answer is at the end. What is geometry? In simple terms, geometry deals with points, lines, plane figures, solids, and angles. It studies how many of these things are related to each other and looks at their special pro properties. Types of angles. The first basic angle we have today is a right angle and that's 90 degrees and here is a sketch to signify that. The next basic angle is a straight angle and that's 180 degrees so it's really a straight line. The next angle is a revolution which is 360 degrees and that's just similar to a circle. The next angle is an acute angle and that is anywhere between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. And here is your diagram. The next angle is an obtuse angle, anywhere between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And finally, we have a reflex angle, which is between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Types of triangles. Triangles can be named by the types of angles or by side lengths. Now here is an acute angle triangle. Why is it an acute angle triangle? Because all angles are less than 90 degrees. This here is a right angle triangle. The reason is it has one right angle. There it is there. The next triangle is an obtuse angled triangle. It has one obtuse angle. This one here. The next angle is an equilateral triangle. That's where all the sides are equal. And these marks here signify that all the sides are equal. And by the way, it's also interesting to note that the three angles are equal. So not only are the three sides equal, but the three angles are also equal. Here we have an isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides, there and there. And it is interesting to note that the angles here, that is the base angles of this isosceles triangle, are also equal because those two sides are equal. And finally we have a scalene triangle when no sides are equal. That is, the three sides are different lengths. Angle sum of a triangle. The three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's a very important rule and it enables you to solve a lot of problems in geometry. Complementary angles. If two angles add up to 90 degrees, then they are complementary. So if we have an example, if two angles are as follows, say 60 degrees and 30 degrees, those two angles add up to 90 degrees, so they are complementary. Supplementary angles. If two angles add up to 180 degrees, then they are supplementary. For example, 120 degrees plus 60 degrees equals 180 degrees, so 120 degrees and 60 degrees are supplementary. Adjacent angles. These angles are next to each other and share a common arm. So A and B are adjacent and here is the common arm, that one there. And finally, vertically opposite angles. When two lines intersect, they create two vertically opposite angles. Well, here are two angles here, M and M. And the two vertically opposite angles that are created are equal. So 
So please remember that. Parallel lines and a transversal. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then we have the following. The corresponding angles are equal. So Y and Y, those two angles are equal and they're called corresponding angles. Now two more examples of corresponding angles, for example, are here and here. And there are other pairs of corresponding angles and I'm sure you can work those out. Secondly, in this particular case, we have that a transversal is cutting across two parallel lines. There's a transversal. Alternate angles are equal. So this angle here, M, and this one here, they are alternate angles, and they are equal. Now here we have an angle there and there. Those two angles are alternate they are also equal. And the co-interior angles are supplementary. So K and X are two co-interior angles. They are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. Now, here we have another angle. And for example, let's look at this one that one there. Let's say that's Y and that's M. They are also co-interior angles and they are supplementary. That is, they add up to 180 degrees. A quick quiz. Please check through the video at any time if you need help with this quick quiz. You are quite welcome to do so. And the answers are at the end. What is the meaning of the following? So the answer is Man overboard. Oh, I'm sure you can work that one out. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And please feel free to check through the video at any time just to confirm those answers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.